Scratch Babble. Howdy. My name's Scratch. Welcome back to the channel. If you're returning, if you're here for the first time, uh, basically this channel is about motorcycles and life. You're never too old to have a life. A little quick background on me. I've been in radio for 27 years. Scratch is my on-air name. Jim's my real name. You can, you can call me either one if you want. I rode a motorcycle never until I was 59 years old. Got my first motorcycle when I turned 60. You're never too old to have a life. And what I hope to do is make this kind of a regular feature where I bring you deals on a regular basis, tell you where you can find them because buying gear from day one is one of the things that can be really confusing. If you're a new rider, you tend to buy what you can afford. Well, and that continues to this day. But not all gear is equal. There are some great deals you'll find on sales, great deals you'll find on closeouts, but then there are other things that are a great deal at their actual regular price. And so as I come across some really good items that I think you can use, whether it's gear you wear, gear for fixing your bike, accessories for your bike, I'm gonna bring those to you when I find them. First note about buying gear. When I started out, I needed uh, basic stuff. I didn't know what I was buying. My first pair of gloves were basically uh, made out of fake some kind of synthetic leather material that offered no protection whatsoever riding on the road. Off-road, if I was strictly off-road, might have been fine. My helmet, which is right there, uh, that is a Bell Revolver Evo. I was thrilled to get that almost $200 helmet for $99 on Black Friday. Bought it before I even had a bike. Loved it. High vis. People could see me. It, and also, I got the transition lens, which I wish everybody, why don't, all helmet manufacturers offer a transition lens. But I love that helmet. Then I started vlogging, and then I started realizing two things. Number one, that helmet is really, really noisy. And number two, that helmet weighs about uh, whatever Volkswagen weighs. It's a really heavy helmet. So I transitioned from that to this helmet here in the last year. That's my Scorpion XO18950. It's a modular helmet, uh, but it's also an ADV helmet, and I love that, but it took time for me to get to that point. So beginning advice for you, whether you've been buying gear for a long time or not, is to get usable gear that's safe, that you can use at first, and then start a little fund. I mean, I was very fortunate. One of my first jackets was like the ultimate ADV jacket. Well, that doesn't happen. And if it hadn't happened, I would have started a little fund. And I've done that for several of the items in my gear, which I'll get to on another day and go through all my gear. Here's an example of the first thing I'm talking about. Now, this happens to be on Revzilla. I always start on all the online places, uh, Revzilla, there's several others and I go through the website and I go to the closeout section. I look in the closeout section and that's where you're going to find gear that may be relegated for street use or maybe it's relegated for strictly off-road or maybe it's relegated for cruising. But the idea is to find a good quality functional piece of clothing that's on closeout that you can get for now, that'll keep you protected and do the things you want now. If it says it's waterproof, it should be actually waterproof. I mean, one of those things you put money away for to try to save up for is anything with Gore-Tex, if rain is an issue, where you go. Uh, here's an example that I have right here of a closeout. This was one that I got on Rivzilla. It's uh, the TCX X Desert, uh, upwards around $500 boot, but it was a closeout on this particular style of boot and I was able to pick that up for like $200 left. Now I had been putting money away to do that because I don't have the money just every week when something goes on sale to go, oh, that's a great price. I want it. I'll buy it. I had been putting money away for that. So that's just one example. Now on Revzilla, I was doing a little surfing this week and I found the Triumph Exploration Jacket. It's uh, currently available in all sizes, which is unusual for a closeout. Sometimes they only have like extra small and 4X large. 
but the Triumph Exploration Jacket is currently available in all sizes. It has a removable rain shell, a waterproof liner, uh, C certified Knox protectors for elbow, shoulders, and the back are included, and it's a pretty good upper level value for 350 bucks. Now, if you want something similar, you don't want to spend 350 bucks, but you're looking for something that is going to be uh, a four season or an all weather jacket with protection, then there's a Fly Racing Street Butane 4. Why they come up with these names, I'm not sure. It too, available in all sizes. It's a four season jacket. It has five colors and it's only $136. So that's a great deal right there. An example of something that you pay full price for, or maybe a couple dollars off depending, but it's worth its weight in gold. Happens to be my favorite pair of gloves. Now, I live here in Florida, so I needed a lightweight summer glove. This is the SMX Air One glove. It's $59.95, all right, but I'm telling you it's worth every penny. It's got the leather palm, it's got the hard knuckles. Uh, this is two and a half, two years, two and a half seasons I've been riding it. So yeah, I probably need to hand wash it a little bit, get the white back to white. But these gloves were worth every penny and they were only $59.95. That wasn't on sale. And sometimes all gear isn't wearable gear. I've got this item that I, I think I picked it up from Rocky Mountain ATV. You can get it on Amazon. I'll put the links for all this stuff in the description but it's the Stockton Tool Mini Ratchet. This thing's only $7.97. It's a great handy little tool you can throw in, well, you could actually put it in your pocket if you wanted to, but you could throw it in your tank bag if you've got an ADV bike. If you don't have an ADV bike, it fits in a small pocket in your backpack or whatever you're using. And I have used this for so many different small adjustments. I have a Madstad touring screen, and uh, sometimes I want to tilt it away or tilt it in, raise it, lower it, and it requires a couple tools. And this this one makes it real easy. Between that and an Allen wrench, I can make the adjustments pretty quick. And then one final little tip, if you have a tank bag and you've got a lot of little loose items in there, I find this thing works great. It's basically a pencil bag <laughs> made. I picked it up in the school supply section. But in here, I keep, as you see, all these little doodads that uh, come in really handy that I can have right there at the ready in one place and they're not scattered all over the inside of my tank bag and I can get my hands on them really quick. So as I said, I want this to be an ongoing thing. As I come across deals, I'll throw up a video and let you know where they are, how much they are, how many are available and how long they're going to be in stock if I know that information because yeah anybody can do what I do anybody can go online and check out all these places and find all these deals but you don't always have the time and these things pop up I belong to several mailing lists all of a sudden they'll pop up and you'll go oh my god that's where having that fund where you put away a little bit of money every paycheck that builds up in a fund for when a really good deal comes up, you're gonna be ready to pull the trigger. So as these deals come up, I'll put together other little videos and put them out, let you know where the best deals are. You know, it's the holiday season, Black Friday's coming up, and there are a lot of sales. There are gonna be a ton of sales, and you're gonna see Black Friday sales, special Christmas sales, and you'll probably zone in on those, scroll through, and see if there's something you want. If not, you move on to another website that has Christmas sales as well. But what you need to remember to do is check the closeouts because at the first of the year is when new models are issued on several items, on all sorts of different items. And the old model closeout could save you a couple hundred bucks on a really great item like these TCX X Desert Gore-Tex boots. Once again, if you're here for the first time, this is something I uh, have just started doing, my first time doing this. Most of my videos are KLR specific. It's the bike I ride, but not exclusively. I also have content about Harleys and other motorcycles. I just love to ride. Check out the couple of video links at the end of this video if you're here for the first time. If you watch regularly and you're not subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you do that. Click the bell so that you'll know when I put up something new. And thank you. I appreciate it very much.